Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Heiken and today Tapcat and I want to finish or start finishing the Against the Overlord campaign and I will kick it off with the Advent Network Tower. It's always a pleasure to do this one with the uh, proficiency class pack that we've installed. Uh, you can't just sneak through the Advent Tower so kind of using a uh, using a reaper is off the table, but there are a couple of other things that we can do. I have uh, readied all of uh, the uh, marines that we're going to use for the final mission, and I do have a decent idea of what I want to use here. So, let's reduce enemy... well, let's increase squad vision by two, that's great. Soldiers gain immunity for the next two attacks, that is fantastic. And individual concealment isn't bad. Mm, I'm thinking about, I might not want to do it uh, just so that I can set up an overwatch uh, trap in case I want to do it. Uh, reduction of enemies will by 50% is fine, but we don't have a lot of psionically active characters. Which is all fine, Central. Don't uh, be don't be too negative here. Exactly, and that smaller uh, uh, smaller squad will uh, contain a field medic, a marksman, and I think I want to have a marine. There we go. Yep. But, so that's my uh, team. I will even use a couple of matrix just to leave all of the kernels up and running. Got some blue screen rounds just in case. Got some explosives. Got some blast, a heavy blast of weapons. And just overall decent weapons. Uh, if you wonder why the Dark Lens is on this sniper, the main sniper for the last mission. Uh, actually does have an ability that reduces the amu ammunition count in the weapon. And uh, making the Dark Lens quite useless because it uh, goes down to one ammo. And since there is no chain death from above uh, reset with the proficiency classes, uh, the Dark Lens is actually quite heavily nerfed uh, because you can obtain single action shot with a sniper rifle even without the Dark Lens, so other sniper rifles can do that as well. I actually think that that is uh, smart because uh, with that change, there, the Dark Lens doesn't stand out as uh, the single best weapon in the entire game. Just makes it more bearable. Okay, let's jump into the mission and see what we got. Time for us to land and get this one going. Alright. Um just realized they should have taken the individual concealment but since we still have an automatically concealed sniper I think we're going to be fine moving slowly towards high ground at the same time just in case we're being spotted out uh, we're going to overwatch and you know how it is sometimes that overwatch immediately happens, so what we're dealing with? Dromedon and the Mutant, okay. Cool, well, um, that will not be enough of an explosion to get everything going. Um, we want to get uh, the Andromedon out of there. Good teamwork over. That's not it. Um, hmm. Thinking about it. Uh, 
So what we could do is we could explode. Uh, that would for sure kill the mutant. And then we could go for the Andromedon. I like the idea of shredding the Andromedon, so we need to find some way of dealing with that. I also like the idea of just stunning that sucker. Okay, we need to start somewhere, and I think that somewhere, unfortunately, it's going to be just opening this still got a traverse a fire continue with uh, the Andromedon but we can't use our blaster bomb which is fine um, I would like the least amount of damage to be lost when killing the mutant do we already take teamwork? Potentially not. The full cover of the Andromedon is a bit of a problem, so removing that would have been great. Could have taken a Sapper with me, to be honest. We don't want to cluster up, that's the main goal here, because elsewise the Andromedon will punish us for it. Moving far enough away, let's kill the mutant. Andromedon is unfortunately still very much up and alive, up and well, and we're just continuing to go for it. There we go, good hit, well done. 11 points, that's a good chance that we would be able to get this one down. Well, don't want to use the Mimic Beacon yet. We're far enough away to no not cause a huge issue uh, with the Andromedon using its goo. So let's see if we can get it down. Fantastic. Good. We're just going to Overwatch. Shell is not going to be fast enough to hit anyone. Andromedons on surgical missions in particular are pretty much a bane because you end up with an ultra tanky suit that is just trying its very dearest uh, to get all of your soldiers down. Good. We're going to Overwatch. I like the idea of putting everybody in a good position. Lots of Overwatch. Carefully moving forward. I want to still take the high ground there. Good. Like I said, one step at a time. No need to rush. On the move. On Pretty sure we're going to trigger one more pack soon. But for now we're fine. Um, we still got the, an option to get onto the high ground, which is fabulous. Moving into cover here, moving into cover there. And continuing to brace Overwatch, Overwatch. Pretty sure there's one pack here. high ground for our marine and we are seeing another pal. That's a nasty one.
What are we dealing with? Mutant Prime. Interesting, okay. Could have reloaded here, but we do have an autoloader, so we're fine. Uh, that makes it a bit more difficult. That indeed makes it a bit more difficult. Perfect opportunity, by the way, for a Mimic Beacon here. So I think we're going to do exactly that. Um, getting the Mimic Beacon out in advance, because we are in a tough spot here. Codex wouldn't fully die. So, using blaster bombs, or a blast bomb rather, it's not plural, would give the prime another action. Um, that's not great, but it's okay. Yeah, but we would shred. That's why we wanted to get uh, this guy out in advance. Was our problem, like a big, uh, big problem. So want to proactively get them down. They do have tactical analysis, so one action each. Make beacon did what it was supposed to do. Tank. There is the expected sonic bomb, but thankfully we do have an option. Thankfully we do have an option to auto load our weapons. Trying our best to get that codex down. Good. That's one down. Racing here. And that's a good chance to completely kill him. Fantastic. Good, as you can appreciate, uh, we are having a bit of a hard time here. So, let's move back. Might as well get a hit. Yep. Luckily, we dodged that like a pro. Free reload and overwatch that way when he's moving forward we can hit him hard. Alternatively the the boa is taking all of the heat and this guy is just taking free shots. Okay. Appreciate it. Newton almost down. Ready to go. Free reload, and before we're finishing him, um, Heading out. let's move over here. That should be a kill. Very nice. Okay, because I would want to suppress the boa. Can't get some high ground, but we are braced and we are in a decent position, so might as well start hitting her. Deflection. Yeah, that's okay. The boa will very likely try to suck us in, because that's typically what they're doing, so in return we're suppressing. There's the overwatch shot, and let's see what uh, they are doing. Poison spit, okay. Look, could have been worse, 
surprised that poison spit um, works when they are suppressed. But whatever. Moves up. Almost gets uh, the Viper down. Down to 1 HP. Lucky dodge there. Good, let's hope we can get her down. Thank you. Even missed shots are dealing a good amount of damage. And did I just mess that one up? Hmm. Out of actions. I think we can't get close enough. Oh yeah, well we had the passive ability that removes poisoning. Okay, we could get close enough. Well done. That, that uh, worked out well. Positioning ourselves up here. I'm going to heal soon. Just need to fix our positioning because uh, that is very much off. On your order. Big Shot would get poisoned up there. So we're just going to go there and we're bracing. Normal heal, I'll save the cooldown just uh, for emergency healing, just in case. And we're overwatching. Okay. Good. Do some reload, and some overwatch, and some overwatch. I still had a free reload, damn it. I <coughs> should have looked at that up first. On your order. On the move. Alright. Double time. As much as I like the high ground, we would be too far away from the action. I'm on it. Next stop, we want to get to the next building. Continue to move forward. I'm pretty sure we're almost done with most of the enemies here. Good. Careful move into full cover. Nothing. Okay. On the move. Moving to position. Got it covered. There's one more pack on the rooftop. If I had to take a guess. I'm on it. That is what it is. Called it, called it. Deflect eyes on an advent position. That armor's tough. Alright, free reload. Let's get the mech down first. Moving up so that we're not clustering. Let's get the mech down. We're 
we're continuing to get the purifier. And we're just overwatching. The last mech might come in with its uh, with its stupid flashbang. Would hit all three of us. Yeah. But that's fine. We do have enough aim uh, to realistically just get that uh, thing down. The riot mechs are perfect support mechs, really well done. Uh, the, the, uh, the design of them with uh, the smoke rain and the flashbangs are great, but their biggest weakness is if you take the threats out of uh, each of the packs, they really don't do much. Good. Uh, it seems that there are no more enemies. Did we already go through all of them? I'm a bit disappointed. Yeah, well, no more enemies. I suppose. Hmm. I was hoping there were a couple more towers, or, uh, turrets, or maybe another hidden pack back here. But the truth of the matter is, that was it, guys. Target in range. Move to hack the command console. Of course, Central wakes up the moment that, Copy that. we are done with the mission. Will do. And we're hacking. It really doesn't matter, none of that does. We've got access, status confirmed. We have control of the network tower. The signal is going out. Good, listen, I mean, 11's enemies are a little bit low. Well done, Doctor. Yes, it would appear the feedback pulse is having the intended effect. Shen, status. Did it work? Advent assures us this breakthrough will be available to all citizens immediately. We go live to the speaker for more. Fellow citizens, for 20 years we have put our trust in Advent, in the elders, because we believe a better future is possible for all. Today, that trust, that belief, has been rewarded. Advent peacekeeping forces are traveling across the world, carrying the greatest gift from the Elder. A revolutionary gene therapy, yes, but so much more. This is an end to disease, to decay, to pain. The beginnings of a new tomorrow, available to all of us, today! Truly, humanity finally takes its rightful place amongst the stars. Good, very good. If we even got a promotion out of it. Not bad. Love it. And that brings us to the last mission, which is uh, going to be led by Tapcat uh, for the first half, and I will take the final room. 
so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the network tower i hope you enjoyed the campaign so far and uh, fingers crossed for the last mission let's rock it and get the elders done uh, take care and have a good one until next time bye bye